Hey folks, Mel the Train Tutor back in the studio and back with another sort of realistic scenic tree tutorial for you. Now in this tree, tree tutorial, it's going to be a bit of a tongue twister in it, yeah we're going to be looking at doing wire armatures. Now I know that you're going to say that, hey oh, we've done wire armatures before Mel, yes we did, they're in the Follies playlist, you know, with all the other sort of tree tutorial bits. Yeah, but in that wire armature tutorial we looked at the twisty twisty method, yeah, and this one yeah, we're going to be looking at the wappy wappy method. Yeah, and this is a technique that allows you to create far more intricate and, and larger trees with finer wires. Yeah, because twisting comes with a couple of difficulties. So come on over to the bench and let's crack on. So guys, the wrap technique. Now, first thing you've got to notice is I'm not using uh, standard rolls of wire where we, we did our loops and then we twisted them. Yeah, for these, I'm using florist stems. Now these are floral stems, stubs they're called. Basically, they're, they're long straight pieces of wire. You can get them in various grades, etc., and lengths. Yeah, and they're used for made, making buttonholes and that sort of stuff. Yeah. But for this technique, they work really well. So, let me pick up all my wires. Now, the basic premise of this whole thing is that when you do the twist technique, the idea is you twist the wires and that gives you all your stability in the wire and brings them all together. Now the problem with the, wire, with the twist technique is that if you do a large number of wires, yeah, like that, okay, and essentially this technique will work no matter how many wires you use. Yeah, but once you get over a certain number of wires, you start getting difficulties twisting it, not only with the actual strength needed to twist the wires, the bundles, especially at the start, yeah, but also with, you get sort of strange twists because of the sheer amount of wires in it, you get sort of valleys almost, yeah. Now this wrap technique completely gets around that, and to do it, what I'm going to do is very quickly, yeah, show you what it is. Yeah, and then we'll do the tree. Yeah, so if I grab a couple of these, yeah, and what I'm going to do is very quickly just bend the end. Yeah, so bend the end there. And then if I get, say, that wire, yeah, and then bend it there. Right, wobbly hands. Yeah, and then just simply start to wrap it round. <laughs> right, see what's happened? I don't know what they're doing next door. <laughs> right, but it's just basically held it together. And that's the basic principle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, no, basic principle. It's holding it together. Sorry, I'm getting a bit off track there, aren't I? I can see this is gonna be a rambly one, guys. Yeah, but we can use that to hold our trunks together. So I need to make a couple more of these, so just give me a minute. Right guys, I've got five of my little root structures. Yeah, and on top of that, what I've done is done the wrap as you can see. Yeah, and I've pulled one wire sort of completely to the side. Yeah, and I've done that on a couple of them. Yeah, next job is we want to get the majority of the wires we're going to use. Yeah, start getting our root structures. Yeah, start laying them into the clump. Just like that. Wires do get everywhere on this, guys. Yeah. Put that one about there. Yeah. Does get a bit fiddly. <laughs> yeah. That one there. Yeah. And all I'm trying to do is just sort of organise the roots so that, you know, as roots would be. Yeah. Obviously, all the wires are loose, which is why it's a right bundle at the minute. <laughs> a bundle of fun. Yeah, and then turn it upside down. Well, it's not upside down, is it? That's the right way round. Right. Okay. Yeah, make sure all the roots are on the outside. Yeah, and down. Yeah. Right. Grab it like that. Bring it round. Start straightening out those wires. 
And then you see your, your sort of sticky out wires here. Why are they on the outside? That's why, that's okay. Yeah, start to wrap them round. And this is exactly the same technique as we did at the bottom of these. Yeah, so grip them. Make sure you've got a decent grip. Okay, and this is going to form your initial trunk. Yeah, so all I'm doing is nice and tight. Yeah, just one wire, just taking it up a little bit to there. There you go. Right. Already, you can see it's starting to hold together. Yeah, but we need the other wires. So, yeah, pull that around there, bring that down. Yeah, next wire, wrap it in the same sort of conical thread. So you're gonna go in between where you've gone before. Yeah, so gripping that one. Ooh, two root structures, same place. Bad mouth, very bad mouth. Yeah, yeah, around there, around there. Keep going. Yeah, and up. Yeah, Rewrap that one a bit. Pull it nice and tight. Yeah, and then with the third one, I'm going to do exactly the same. Yeah, I'm not over. And there you have it guys. You can immediately see how that's starting to pull together. Right, a little bit of fine tuning at the bottom here, I think. Yeah, so let's push those. Yeah, twist those out a bit. They're okay. Yeah, next job, oh, we could do with separating those out a bit as well. Next job we need to do is to start to break up our armatures. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab that lot, and we're gonna bend it that way, and just push down. Yeah, taking one of our wires, I reckon the top one, tuck it through there, and then continue the wrap. Yeah, so pull it down. Wrap it through. Yeah. It's a little bit fiddly at this stage, so. Yeah, there you go. See how I've just literally taken one of our wires, wrapped it round, just to sort of secure that broth. Is it a broth? Bow. What, what are tree armatures called? You know, the arms, I know they're branches, but what are the bigger ones called? You know, where they really split off. Yeah, this one, I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna do it on this arch, on this path. So, pull that out a bit. And pull that wire in. Yeah. So, you see the second wrap around there? Like that. Yeah. And then we've got a couple of tail wires, so let's just wrap this completely round. We can finish this just around there. Oh, camera's going in and out of focus, isn't it? Yeah. And just tuck that into there. Yeah, and then we've got these wires. So, what I'm gonna do now is we'll split this again. We'll have a, a sort of a thinner one coming off here. Yeah, a thicker one off here. Yeah, go to the thinner one. Yeah, and what I'm gonna do is this spare wire, I'm gonna wrap around there. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, the neighbors are busy. <laughs> right, next job is I'm gonna continue this process and basically get all my major branches onto this tree. And all I'm gonna simply do is every time, actually I better point out. Right, I've used the three main ones that we pulled out from the root structure, okay? 
Moving further up, yeah, if I need to do a wrap and I've got no wire to wrap it with, just simply take the closest one to the sort of middle of the join. Wherever you split and take the closest one there, so that one, yeah, and then you can just use that as the wrap. Yeah, all you need to do is pull it around a couple of times. Yeah, and remember, tuck it into that V. And there you go. Yeah, I've just literally pulled that one, wrapped it around a few times. Now I'm gonna continue this process, yeah, and just get my basic arms and, and that sort of stuff onto the tree, yeah? Back in a sec. Ta-da! <laughs> okay guys, it looks like a Barbie doll with a bad haircut, doesn't it? <laughs> with all the strands, it's like it's out of Toy Story. Yeah, let me bring this up for you so you can see nice and clearly. Yeah, do you see how we've used the wrapping wire? Yeah, we've come up, we've secured all the armatures and we've continued this process pretty much all the way up, all of these, yeah, right to the top there. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to see with all the strands. Yeah, we've got ourselves a functional tree. Yeah, I mean, you've got to remember, a standard model's going to be about that big, so it's a big tree, yeah. The next thing that we need to do is to start to actually work out our armatures. Yeah, and that means actually doing the old twist technique. So what we're going to do is pick a nice easy one. All right, start off here. And when you're doing your tree, what you've got to remember is there's a tendency for trees to sort of be like triangles. Yeah, because as you're winding up, you've got a lot of wire. Yeah, and if you pull it down low, that extends the branches out quite far. So you need to remember, yeah, depending on what sort of tree you're doing, of course, yeah, you're gonna to have to pull it in a bit. So we're not gonna twist all the way to the end of these wires. What we're gonna do is probably going about halfway up. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab a few of the wires and just start twisting it up. Yeah, we'll split them there. Yeah, a bit more twisting. And there you have the branch. Now, if I come along with a pair of clippers, yeah, and I just start shooting my screen. There we go. And you can see if I bring it up nice and close, and you can see how we've started to get our armature up. Anyway. Next job is to continue that entire process all the way along our tree. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now and I'll be back in a little while. <laughs> well, a second for you guys. So guys, there we are so far. And as you can see, yeah, we've continued that wrapping technique all along to all the small armatures up here. Yeah, literally all the way along. Yeah, the other thing that we've done is we've used the twist technique and quite often we've made sure we've got odd numbers, yeah, so we get the odd strands sticking out, yeah. Now, if I, hold, if I bring it up, you can see, still got the roots to do, so we're going to do those in a second. Yeah, but what I wanted to point out is look how horrible and straight that is, yeah, whereas if you come to this one, see how it's, it's sort of bend, yeah, that's the next thing I need to do. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to come in and... I'm gonna put some kinks in the wire. And it doesn't really matter where you put the kinks in initially because trees grow in weird shapes. So get the initial kinks in and then you can shape it to where you need the actual branch st structure, so to speak. So let's bring this one round here. Yeah. It's very, very spiky, watch your fingers. So as you can see, yeah, little kinks make it more realistic. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some more kinks into this and then the other thing I'm going to do is just do a little bit of wrapping on these roots and it'll very much be wrapped up. So guys, yeah, I'm going to carry on putting some kinks in because I like kinks. You know me and me kinks. Yeah. Oh, ow. Ow! Yeah, I'm talking about kinks and shouting. It's not, oh, calm down, both. Calm down, both. Let's pull that up there. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, that's the final twisting and kinking done. As you can see, yeah, we've got the root structures in. Yeah, pair of pliers, give them a good twist to get a good twist on it, then clip them off. Because roots tend to be pretty chunky. Obviously, it's wire, so if you want really fine roots running everywhere, you just sort of replicate what you've done up here with the root structure. 
yeah. Uh, we've put our little twists in and then we've worked around and basically tried to give it the best sort of foliage sort of support as possible. And what I mean by that is, quite simply, we've tried to make sure there's a good bush on it and one end doesn't stick out more than another. Now, this is just a generic tree. If you want a particular style of tree, you know, you can just map it out. The important thing is the wrap technique allows you to work with a lot more wires. It allows you to manipulate the branches e easier and produce a far more realistic model tree. Yeah, now obviously you have got the wrap around it. Well, we haven't covered barking yet, we'll be doing it soon, but you can cover this with various sort of barking mixes. I mean, I've seen people use masking tape. I've seen one of the trainers even use tin foil to wrap their trees in. I'm not even sure if they made their trees from tin foil, to be perfectly honest, but it's doable. Yeah, above all, it looks beautiful. So there you are guys, we've done the twisty twisty, now we've done the rappy rappy, yeah, and I've finally got a tree that I can start messing around with barking. I've got to do a bit more, a few more trees. Every time I make a tree, Kez next one for one of her projects. Yeah, so I'm keeping this one in the studio so she doesn't get her hands on it. Right guys, let me set off for the long shot. So guys, there you have it, that's the wrap technique. And as you saw, it's just a simple matter of grabbing a wire, securing it around whatever sort of trunk you're working on, whichever sort of, you know, armature you're working on. Yeah, wrapping it in and then converting it to a twist as the wires get thinner. You can use pliers for it, yeah. Also remember, yeah, obviously you're working with straight wires, you're gonna need to flex and bend and put a little kink in it, yeah. It makes it all good fun and all real. Yeah, so they are beautiful, isn't it? Ah, right. Uh, that's another technique for you guys. That's the rappy rappy technique. Yeah, if you've got anything to add to this video, any other techniques you think I should look at or show off, yeah, in the comments, guys. If you've got any questions, in the comments, I always ask, answer my questions, guys. Yeah, if you've liked it, like it. If you know someone who find it useful, share it. And as always, guys, if you have found this like, sort of like useful yet, yeah, seriously, please consider the patron thing. It is only one dollar a month. I only ask for a dollar, and in the current exchange rate, that's not much at all. But it helps me to get the equipment, it helps me to get the materials, it helps me to get the time in the studio, and, and you know, to put, and the editing gear to put all these videos together. Yeah, it's not much from your side, but it means a hell of a lot to me, guys, it really does. So please consider it. Yeah, you'd be really helping me out. And, you know, I'll be helping you out with more tutorials. So, that's the Patreon thing. And if you're not into Patreon and you just want to send a one-off thank you, you can always send a couple of quid by PayPal, links in the description. Yeah, consider it a digital pint. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I do appreciate it. However you support me, yeah, I appreciate the support. Right, we've got more Let's Builds coming. Uh, I'm on holiday next week, so there's other stuff coming. And there's loads of stuff coming. I'll see you in the next video. And if I don't see you before, I'll see you on the next live show. All the best, yeah? ta -da.